Day five, road to San Francisco. I'm heading up to Petaluma, which is about uh, 25 minutes north of Mill Valley, just a half hour out of San Francisco. Unless you're in rush hour, then it's like two hours or an hour and a half or crazy stuff. Uh, going through now San Rafael and then up to Petaluma. There's a friend uh, I know who was an art director, creative director. We worked on a Beatle book together. We edited a book called Mad Day Out, the photographs of Stephen Goldblatt. There will be like right up here. Is it right here? No, right here. There's a, there's a picture on the cover. It was a very limited edition for UC Berkeley photo department. Stephen Goldblatt was one of the what, three or four photographers who worked in 1968. Don McCollum was the uh, McCollum was the uh, war photographer from World War II who was the main photographer in Mad Day Out when the Beatles walked around central London for promotional pictures. You've seen many of those pictures. And Stephen Blatt, Goldblatt was a young photographer then. He was on that. He, and we put together, I edited, and, and Michael designed this beautiful book, limited edition with a clamshell case. He has a letter set press. I think I showed some of his guitar series, so I'm going to show you those, hopefully. So day five, it's Monday, and it's right now in Marin, it's 62 degrees at 10.30 in the morning. It's been over a decade since I've been to Petaluma. Theater, a great music venue in Petaluma. What's amazing is when you literally turn the corner and you see this. I had no idea this was here. Right in Petaluma. Okay. You know, if you see this, you have to go in. Paradise Found. Records. Music. Petaluma, California. There's a record store day list. I won't be here, but let's check it out. Are they open yet? The good news, bad news. I discovered this record store. Paradise Found in Petaluma. They don't open till 11, which is two minutes from now. So I guess that's the good news. So I just kind of gave you a good news, bad news scenario. So of course, I just stumbled on that record store. It's only been there a few months here. And if you're up in the Petaluma area of Northern California, Marin County, great little store, mostly news. They have some used stuff, but I, I think it's a beautiful store inside. Great sound system. I think, wasn't that Elliot Smith they were playing? Um, but look at this, this is nice, huh? Sweet. I'm not always a fan of uh, images on the back of a shirt. I'm a front shirt guy, whatever, but uh, 
couldn't resist. They uh, participate in Record Store Day. So if you're up here, it might be a good place to check out Record Store Day. I don't know uh, how popular they are yet, but um, could be uh, if you're in the northern Marin area here, uh, check it out. Michael Rylander. I've known uh, Michael Rylander for I'm, probably 30 years, but we've never been really close friends. But I remember the first time you worked for uh, uh, Hal Reine and Associates, the advertising agency, and going, for some reason I was showing portfolios, and I was in your office with, I think, your writing partner at the time, possibly. And all I remember, there was a guitar and a bass in there. Yes. Right? We always had instrument. Yeah, Were you the bass also, player or the guitar player? Uh, guitar. Look at these presses. You're doing letter press. This is all letter press, and these these machines they don't make anymore. They're um, Heidelberg's in operation, but they don't make these. And they're kind of these are the workhorses of the industry. They're called uh, windmill. And you have three of them. And I have three of them. One is for foil, different shades of foil over here, and then these are for ink. Oh my god. And, um, they're called a windmill because they have these two arms that rotate around and pull the paper through. I've seen these running. Not now. How come? Why does it say Steely Dan? These are all named after. Uh, <laughs> so okay, let's, Dan. let's get close there. Look at that. Uh -huh. And uh, this is Willie Nelson. But yeah, but these are, these are analog. They're not digital. These are totally analog. <laughs> yes. And this yes. one has a name too. This is this is Willie. Oh, oh this oh, it smells like pot, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't. It, no, it doesn't. And then this is this is actually my mentor. So I had this this sign made here with some of her, her uh, phrases. Everybody get uh, only gets one, nobody's buying crop marks, and good a fucking not. Wow. So the company's called Sweet Bippy Press. So you, you uh, retail and wholesale these? We, ma mainly wholesale, but we do have a retail, we have a website, and we sell them. Okay. Retail so if any of you have stores or record shops and you want a little gift set, I'd tell you record shops would be a good thing are yeah. you in many record shops? We, well, we're in the one that you just went into in Petaluma. Um, okay. And, and we are in a few, yeah. Okay. Well, here we go. Yeah, so here's, um, this is an ongoing thing, but really a, a passion project. I want to have probably 30 of these at some point, but they're all famous guitars. And Now, how did this come about? I mean, what was, it seems just, obvious. But... I love fucking guitars and I love playing. Um, so this is kind of homage to, to all of these. Um, so when you open them, they fold open and you see the whole guitar. And which guitar is this? So this would be Jimi Hendrix Flying V. And so it has a, um, this is actually a very sad story. Uh, in, in 1969, he gave this guitar to Mick Cox, who stripped off the paint, and Hendrix painted that himself. <laughs> wow. It's amazing. They come with a guitar pick. So anyway, I just love oh, these wow. things. And, okay. um, well, let's go through them. we got Dwayne Almond, so obviously. Have, yeah, Dwayne's, Les Paul. Wow. Well, I like the Buddy Guy. Yeah. yeah. Buddy Guy. That's kind of... Who's a... still playing, still kicking. He has yeah. his club in, what, Chicago? Yeah. I think it's in Chicago. And these, I think he did these for his mom, because he, he promised his mom, I'm going to buy you a polka-dotted uh, limo when I get famous. And she passed away before he did, so now this is his... his Can I see the back of her? Yeah. Wow. Beautiful. And there's Van Halen. There's a lot of people are in the Van Halen. Yep, there's Van Halen. I assume his son has that guitar now. It was, I wonder, yeah, I assume. Or Valerie got in the in a settlement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's cool. Trigger, from of course. Texas, and uh, I just have always liked Willie, so. Have you seen that video of the guy that every few years repairs? His, he up, Yes. Yeah, that it's on YouTube. Awesome. He... They keep that hole. I saw him at the Circle Star Theater in the 70s. First time I saw him in person. And, and that was like this big. Yeah, and, and he just keeps it there. They yeah. they refinish it, but carefully. Or they, I don't know about refinishing, but they, every once in a while needs a little, uh, a little loop job. And then um, his daughter, I've kind of, kind of pen pals with one of his daughters. And so she, she just bought a bunch of these. Wow. Um, and then, yeah. Another Stevie. Stevie, another hero of mine. Stevie Ray Vaughan, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Stevie's number one. Cool. Okay. Ray Henning's Heart of Music. I don't know if you've been there. That's a great store. I have not. Now, this one, of course. Uh, yeah. George Harrison, Rocky. He painted that. He used uh, some Daglo paints and some of Patty Boy's, mm -hmm. like uh, nail polish. Nail polish. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I love that you have the history. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. And now the next one, that's the. Um, 
the, well, not national. What do they call those? Uh... It's a it's a national it style national. Um, okay. from Brothers in Arms. Kind of made it famous. Right, the cover. It's on the cover, right? Yep, it's on the cover with the I think a blue sky in the background. So. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. And last but not least, we have to have the boss's guitar. Yeah. So. Oh wow. That's just. Nice. Classic. I think someone should um, buy a shitload of these, like for wedding uh, invites or save the date oh, type things. There you go. Come on. So, I mean, <laughs> you know, if you're if you have a guitar family, and save that date. That's the big thing now. Save the dates. Oh, you got record things too. Yes, we've got. Uh, Happy birthday. Happy birthday and pink and blue. Michael is a great designer. I've seen advertising stuff, design pieces, books. He's worked on. Yeah, so these are kind of local uh, prints, silkscreen and letterpress. So there's a mirror. Did you design these or are these bait? This, uh, I designed most of these. Or some of them are from old woodcuts. Like okay. Vintage. Like this one is an old woodcut. Oh, beautiful. Right. So these are the Heidelberg windmills. Um, they're from about the 1960s. And they operate with... <laughs> And these little guys here are suckers, and they pick the paper up, and they pull it through. Is it a major, when you change cards, a major cleanup of ink colors? You have to, like, totally... Yeah, it's a big cleanup, and, and every color you run the cards through again. It's a, it's a labor intense, labor of love. Okay, Charlie Parker is my favorite jazz musician. So what is this? <laughs> so this is a 1905 Chandler and Price. It was made in the US and there's no electricity. You use your foot kind of like an old sewing machine. And I love the old clunky noise it makes. And you hand feed a piece of paper in, you get your hand out really quick, and then you pull it out. There's rollers up here that you install for the ink. Now, can you press a record on this? <laughs> and you can spin a record, you, Charlie. But, but you, but you can't press one. It's not like a, you can't <laughs> cut from a lathe to a... That. That's a great idea. We? Oui? <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you, Michael. So I just talked about this. This is the book, the Mad Day Out book that Michael designed. And this is the photograph. I think you and I selected this because yeah. every book came with a photograph. This was my favorite photograph from the book of John Lennon um, in front of the, uh, the church. I love him in the foreground there. Look at, I remember that they, the Paisley. they weren't quite sure about that. Yeah. And you and I go, yeah, when you, when you, Offered that as a design element. I thought that was the coolest thing. You know, that yeah. is, what a great book. I mean, it was fun. It was a fun project. It really was. Yeah. Well, thank you for showing that again. I have my copy. It's out of print. I think it was like four hundred and fifty dollars then. It was, yeah. Uh, and it was. Do you remember any copies? Do you... I think there were. I want to say one hundred and fifty. Yeah, it wasn't a lot. It wasn't a lot. Yeah. Well, thank you. I know nothing about 78s, but I love Josh White. Uh, he was up for the uh, Un-American. Uh, he was one of those commie, yeah. commie things. He was an actor, too. Folk songs of Josh White. Wow. That's cool stuff. Sometimes people have... You got a lot of Josh White. Yes. Yeah, my grandfather was good friends with him. When really? When he come to San Francisco, he would hang out with my grandfather in oh, the my. house. Kugat's favorite rumbas, Xavier Kugat. Yeah. You know his who was he was married to? Yeah. Charo. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, I think so. I think so. <laughs> Carmen Moran. This now this is cool stuff. Okay. This is the stuff I'm keeping. There Mex. Was, there's all that oh. stuff over there that I still have to process through. This isn't that fantastic. I bet you this is amazing. Yeah, I bet Mexican it is. cowboy song. Do you have a a, a player? No. It's, I, yeah. I almost got one, and then I decided that. Don't get a normal turntable with a stylus no, that you no, do. No, no, no. You need to find something. It's, it's a different stylus, you said? It's a different stylus. Yeah. I actually found one, a, uh, a Ooh. controller. This could be. I don't see. You got the cool stuff. A lot of people will, will say, I got these 78s, and it's really shitty shit. Hank Jones, Bebop Piano. Isn't that amazing? Look, see, these covers are great, yeah, right? They're really great covers. Bunny bird again? Okay. You could do a whole story on this. That's what <laughs> I like.
I love commie shit. <laughs> my last name is Maslov, so it's Ru you, there's Russian. Are you doing a commie room, like annex in your place? A commie? I might do a commie. Well, let's see that. Let's pull that up. Look at these covers. Yeah. God really damn. Good. No, they're great. Schubert damn. bronze. Okay. But, oh. Oh, look I'm at. I'm not a great Gilbert and Sullivan. Look at this. It's a, the talking heads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not that. It's talking union. Yeah. Well, this is really. Oh, Joe Hill. This is really commie stuff. This is like Woody Guthrie, Billy Bragg. You know, it's funny. I've not found any Woody Guthrie in here yet. Which side are you on? <laughs> Which side are you on? This is hysterical. Boys? Which side are you on? Well, thank you for that tour. Sure. I, have no, I haven't talked to you.